high wall is what everybody's counting on the pilots to really be on their game. Starting to pick up. The area where the pressure changes the most rapidly, that happens right in the eye wall. It's all related to what we call pressure gradient. That pressure is just barreling down as we go through the eye wall. Hang on. All right, here we go. Across that gradient, the airplane struggles to maintain control in that environment. Throttle, throttle. When the airplane flies on what we call a pressure altitude, we're telling it, you stay at 10,000 feet the entire time. The problem is, we get near the center, the pressure falls. The airplane is flying at the same pressure that it was prior, but really, the airplane actually flies downhill into the center. Our absolute altitude is less. The airplane thinks it's at 10,000 feet, but it's really only around 7,000 feet above the water. That's a 3,000 foot change in, in altitude just based on pressure. As a pilot, I have to anticipate that. As I can feel us descending, the aircraft's gonna naturally wanna speed up because you're going downhill. It's like a roller coaster, right? You're going over the top, so the roller coaster's gonna get faster. So when the plane is doing that, we as the pilots have to pull the power back to keep the aircraft at its safe operational airspeed. 